What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and having a great day. Today it is absolutely gorgeous out. We do have a few bugs that are flying around, but that is not stopping us from reviewing the 2023 Volvo XC40 B5 All-Wheel Drive Plus. Huge thank you to Nick Shields over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular XC40 or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Nick's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the exterior and performance part of this video, I do have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys would help me get to that goal, I greatly appreciate it. If you guys would give this video a big thumbs up, as well as hit that subscribe button, all those likes, comments, and subscriptions, help me get closer to my goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. So I greatly appreciate it. If you guys would help me get to that goal, but with that out of the way, let's move into the exterior and performance. And like I mentioned, this is a 2023 Volvo XC40 B5 all-wheel drive plus. And this particular one has been painted in the $695 Fjord blue metallic. So if you guys didn't know, for 2023, the XC40 did get a tweaked headlight design as well as a slightly tweaked front bumper. But let's start at our headlights, then we'll work our way down and around the XC40. So you do get... LED headlights with active high beams as well as LED daytime running lights and then towards the bottom of your front bumper is where you will find your LED fog lights. Taking a step over to the left, this is the dark theme XC40. So with the dark theme, you do get a gloss black mesh grille um, and this is unrelated to the dark theme, but you also do get a Volvo emblem at the center of your grille. And then just below your Volvo lettering is where you'll find your front camera. That front camera goes along with your 360 degree view camera that this particular XC40 is optioned with, which is a part of the $1,800 driver assist package, which also includes adaptive cruise control. But we'll get into that here in a second. You also do get front sensors with the plus. So you get one here, 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 here and over here as well and then on the left and right side of the front bumper is where you'll find your gloss black outer grills which surround your led fog lights right there and over here as well and then just behind the black outer grill on the driver's side is where you will find your 1475 dollars 20 inch five spoke black diamond cut alloy wheels wrapped in 245 45 pirelli scorpion zero all season tires and then just behind your wheel and tire setup is where you'll find your front suspension which is a front mcpherson strut suspension and then Taking a look at our mirror caps, we do get black mirror caps with the dark theme as well as integrated turn signal. These side view mirrors are heated power folding, auto dimming, and you will find your blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand corner of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand corner of your passenger side mirror. And then at the bottom of the side view mirrors right here is where you'll find your side view camera, which is a part of your 360 degree view camera, which I mentioned earlier comes with the $1,800 driver assist package. Taking a look at the roof line is where you'll find your gloss black integrated roof rails. To come down a bit is where you'll find your gloss black window trim. You get body color door handles with a light at the bottom of all four door handles, one right here and over here. So that's what that looks like. Then you get some black body cladding at the bottom of all your passenger doors. Working our way towards the back, you will find your rear multi-link suspension. That's what it looks like back there. I don't really, can't really give you that good of a view of your rear multi-link suspension, but at least you know what kind of suspension you have. But making our way to the business end of the XC40 is where you'll find your LED taillights with side marker lights. You also get a $200 power lift gate that's optioned on this particular XC40. And then you have your rear view camera down here, which you will find just above where it says 24. Boom, that is where you'll find your rear view camera. You also get rear view sensors and no exhaust tips. So Volvo has done away with exhaust tips um, starting in 2022 across all models because they're trying to do away with CO2 emissions vehicles by 2030. So that's why you no longer see exhaust tips on any 2022 and up Volvo product. If you guys do like the exhaust tips on a Volvo, you're gonna have to buy a 2021. And like I mentioned, you do get rear view sensors for six total, one here, one right here, 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 and over there as well. 
reflector on the driver's side, reflector on the passenger side of the rear bumper. But like I said, you get a $200 power lift gate. So let's open that up and see what's cracking in here. So on the right hand side of your trunk, you have a 12 volt power outlet. You can see you have this cargo shade. So when you have your closed or your trunk closed, nobody can see what the contents is in your trunk. If you have skis, you can fold this down and send your skis through there. And then taking a look at the bottom, popping this open, got a good amount of storage space down in there. And then I got yelled at or roasted in my last video for not opening this piece up, but that is where you will find your spare tire just under all that and you get a little bit of storage space over here with a fjord blue hook same thing on the um, passenger side as well get a light right here and then another light over there but let's close that power lift gate you can either uh, press this button to close the power lift gate or you can press this button and close the power lift gate and lock the vehicle we're just going to close the power lift gate right here you have your capless filler neck boom Premium fuel is recommended. Close that and then we'll do a little walk around. Let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Volvo XC40 with the dark theme. I definitely prefer the dark theme. I love the gloss black mesh grill. I think this really sets it off as compared to the bright theme. I understand how you would like chrome window trim. I mean, it's obviously a personal preference, but in my personal opinion, I like the dark theme better because you get all those dark trim pieces and especially that mesh grill at the front. I think it looks better than the chrome barred grill that you find on the bright theme. But just my personal opinion, let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section down below. But with that said, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system that has a 13 horsepower starter generator system. Going back to that motor, you make 247 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. It's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in just over six seconds. Keep in mind, this is an all wheel drive XC40. So if you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 23 miles per gallon in the city, 30 miles per gallon on the highway for 26 miles per gallon combined. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I preached to you guys at the beginning of this video, I am trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. And I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys would help me get to that point, give this video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's move into the interior. So obviously with this thing being a 2023 vehicle, you do get keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind here and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across this square box on your door handle and that will lock the vehicle. You can see the vehicle locks because the side view mirrors will fold in. Go back up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and it will unlock. Boom, unlocks and let's take a look at our door panel. So the interior materials used on this XC40 include charcoal, leather, or city block textile seating surfaces. So you can see aluminum door handle, two memory seat adjustment settings, Harman Kardon speaker surround, automatic up and down windows at all four corners. Press the L and the R buttons at the same time. That will power fold your side view mirrors in. Unlock and lock button and a good amount of storage space at the bottom of your door panel. And then you also have a nicely padded armrest. You can see you have a brushed aluminum Volvo door sill, power driver seat, power front passenger seat. But let's step into the interior because these bugs outside are getting a little bit obnoxious. So I'm gonna close that door and uh, hopefully that leaves all the bugs on the outside. So with keyless access, you also do get push button start. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in the interior, push your foot down on the brake and push to start. You can hear that two liter four cylinder roar to life. Make sure we have the volume down just in case. And uh, we'll start over here and we'll work our way to the passenger side and then into the rear seats. So pressing this button down here will open up your $200 power lift gate. Pressing that power lift gate will open up. This is your turn signal stock as well as your headlight stock. So if I push this all the way forward, that turns my automatic high beams on and you can tell that the automatic high beams turn on because um, it lets you know right there. Push forward on that again and you can see automatic high beams turn back off. Right now our headlights are in automatic. Go down once, that's headlights always on. Go down one more, that's daytime running lights on. 
then all the way turns your headlights off. I like to leave it in headlights automatic, um, just personal preference. This is your fog light button. So you can see fog lights are on. It lets you know right there that your fog lights are on. Press it again and they turn back off. You do get a leather wrapped steering wheel, but going over to here, it is a heated steering wheel. So you do get a heated steering wheel as well as heated rear seats with the $550 climate package. So if you want a heated steering wheel, you're gonna have to opt for the $550 climate package, um, but we'll get to that in a second. Adaptive cruise control settings on this side of the steering wheel. And then this is to speak to the vehicle. And then these buttons right here control either your volume um, or to go back on a track or forward on a track, but they can also control what goes on in this screen. So if I press this right now, it's gonna go to no, and this is like your select button, boom, and that goes away. And what I am showing you guys at the moment is your 12.3 inch digital driver display with two display modes. Right now it is in display mode Navi, but if I come down here and I press this, that brings me into my calm display mode. So your two different display modes are calm and Navi. This is calm press that and this is Navi. I like to leave it on calm, at least for right now. And then on the left-hand side of your digital driver display is where you'll find your speedometer. On the right-hand side is where you'll find your RPM gauge. In the middle of your speedometer is where you'll find your digital speedometer readout. And then just below that, that is your speed limit sign. So wherever you are driving, it will um, display the speed limit of that specific area, which I think is very nice. Right now, automatic high beams are on, so are my headlights. That's like your lane keeping stuff. 72 degrees, that's your ambient exterior temperature. That lets me know I have a seat belt off. Got your fuel gauge down here, as well as your fuel range. So we have 40 miles until empty. Auto stop start is off, and you can see that it is off by that A with this, um, like a slash mark through it. This right here is like your regenerative braking for your 48 volt mild hybrid system. So when you press on the brake, um, you'll see like it kind of turns bluish and it shows that it's recharging the battery. I'll show you guys that on the driving portion of the video. See how the P is big? That lets us know that we're in park. If I pull back, we go into drive, push forward once, that puts us into neutral. Push forward one more time and that puts us into reverse. That's your backup camera right there push P to go into park. We're pushing P. And then one thing that's interesting that I've never pointed out in a XC40 before is that if you go into drive and you pull back one more, that puts you into manual mode. So if you want to downshift, you go to the left. If you want to upshift, you click to the right and you can see it put us in second gear, but we'll mess with that on the driving portion of the review. We'll go back into park. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys that has to do with this screen. As you can see this circle right here, press on that circle and that will pop up your odometer. So this vehicle has 16 miles on it. This is your trip auto. So this will automatically reset the trip every single time that you leave a spot. Um, and you can see it tracks your mileage, MPG, how far or how long you've been driving and your average speed. And then you can manually reset this one over here by pressing this reset button on the end of your turn signal stock. So if I, actually we'll do that. So press and hold and that will reset it. Now you'll see that the left-hand screen is totally reset. So thought I'd point that out. And then let's move over here to the right, which is where you will find your nine inch Google infotainment system with wired Apple CarPlay. I guess one thing that I did skim over is you get your push button start right here. And then as well as your windshield wiper stock pull forward, that will wash your front windshield. One thing I like about the windshield washers is that they don't just spray everywhere. They actually just spray right out of the windshield wipers. You can see just like that, boom. So instead of spraying from like the hood, they're spraying directly out of the wipers, which is cool. And then push forward on that, that will wash your rear glass. But anyway, back to this. It says wired Apple CarPlay. But what, one thing that's interesting, and I looked this up, it says it has Android Auto, but I couldn't find something that said Android Auto on the screen. So you can see when you go into this screen, you can see it says Apple CarPlay, but then I go throughout here and I couldn't find Android Auto. So I think it has Android Auto. At least that's what it said online uh, in a few different places. But I just can't find where it says it. And I don't have an Android, so I can't test it. But anyway, um, this is like your back screen. So you got your Google Maps, Bluetooth stuff. You can see all the different things on here. Boom, I'll open that up. Go down into here and you can see phone, Apple CarPlay, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Play Store, Owner's Manual, and then down here, you can see this camera. If I press on that, that will pop up my 
front camera, I believe. Actually, that's my rear view camera right now. But if I click this button at the center of the screen, that brings up my 360 degree view camera and I can bring it into each zone. So right now, that's my forward facing camera. If I open that back up, that will bring me to my driver side camera. Open this up, that's my passenger side camera. And then go back here, that is my rear view camera where you can see those people are walking around. So yep, yeah, that's about it for that. And then just to the right of that, you can see you have your seat. So this is your heated driver's seat as well as your heated steering wheel, both with three levels of adjustability. And then the passenger has the same exact thing, uh, heated front seat with three levels of adjustability. If you want your climate screen to pop up, press this button at the center of the screen and boom, your climate screen will pop up. This is like your home button. So press that, that will bring you back into your home screen, home screen. And then you can go into your different settings and stuff like that throughout here. You can go into your driving settings, blah, blah, blah. Not much you can uh, adjust here. Anyway, you got some wood inlay trim, some more wood inlay trim over there. Moving down to here, this is your hazards. One thing that's interesting is that this actually flashes with your hazards. So let's take a listen. You can see it's flashing. Front defroster, rear defroster, which also turns on your side view heated mirrors this is to go back on a track this is to go forward on a track this is to play or pause on a track this is obviously your volume knob this is a dead button somebody tried to correct me on um, one of my other videos but no this is not your driving modes button this is a dead button anyway and then moving down to here you got a 12 volt power outlet two usb c ports and then down here you have your wireless charging pad let's see if my iphone 14 pro max will fit in there yes iPhone 14 Pro Max will fit in the wireless charging pad with a case and then you have some miscellaneous storage based on the right and left side of the wireless charging pad and then opening this up you got a little spot where you can set your key closing that one thing that's nice about this is like the crystal gear shifter so you can take a look it's actually lit up which is really awesome and it says something on top and then it says Sweden it looks really awesome honestly so this is your gear shifter you got two cup holders and then you have your electronic parking brake and then your auto hold so let's say you're tired of holding your foot on the brakes in traffic press on that and this will keep your vehicle held in place until you hit the accelerator then it will release it um, and then just to turn it off you either can be moving or if you're stuck in place put your foot on the brake and press that again and that will turn your auto hold off one thing that I really like about the XC40s is that they have this little trash can in here. So let's say you have some trash, you can stick it down in here and then you can remove this, take it and go dump it, which is a really sweet feature. And I hope more manufacturers incorporate something like this um, because I chew a lot of gum. And when I do with my gum wrappers, I just throw it on the floor. Uh, but if I had something like this, I would always uh, toss my gum wrappers in there. So just a really, really neat feature. And then you got a good amount of storage base down in here. Nothing huge. But um, yeah, a decent amount of storage space. And then also if your key fob battery ends up dying, I'm not sure where I put the key fob here. You can set your key fob right here, even with the key fob being dead and it will still start the vehicle because it picks up like the chip on the key fob. Um, so yeah, no worries about that. Then you got your auto dimming rear view mirror with your universal garage door opener at the bottom of it. You can see um, if you have three different garage bay doors, you got one, two and three that you can open up you have your glove box over here it is not locking however it is actually a good amount of storage base you can fit your napkins um, your owner's manual and you know some miscellaneous stuff like that closing that back up your passenger side door panel looks pretty much the exact same as your driver side door panel you can see you have your swedish flag and then up top here sos button um, this is like your questions button passenger airbag on or off this is like your onstar so if you ever been in a gm vehicle this is like your volvo onstar and then you have your dome lights for your driver and your passenger pressing this button will turn on all the interior dome lights boom 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 and then you have your panoramic moonroof which comes with the plus so um, it also has a power shade with it so right now that's opening up the panoramic moonroof you can also tilt the panoramic moonroof up like that which i'll show you here in a second all you got to do is press right here and it will tilt up press that button again and it will tilt back down and then if you want your shade to close just slide your finger across that and the shade will come and uh that will close your panoramic moonroof so it looks like you didn't have one in the first place you get your bluetooth mic pickup for your bluetooth phone same thing over here you got an opu panel there 
another Opu panel for the driver. Opening this up, you get a vanity mirror with a vanity light. Same thing for the passenger side, vanity mirror with a vanity light. Got a great spot you can set your registration, some money, or a parking ticket. Same thing for over here. Let's say you go to a parking garage, you got those little parking tickets that they give you. Um, you can set that there, and then when you leave, you can pull it out of here, give it to the parking person, then pay the parking person without having to worry about losing your parking ticket. But yeah, I believe that's about it for up here. I guess um, you get a little bit of storage space right here. And I believe on, uh, I guess you don't on that side. So just right here, you get a little bit of storage space. But a couple things that I wanted to read off to you guys that this particular XC40 B5 all wheel drive plus has is the $1,800 driver assist package, which includes pilot assist, which is a driver assistance system with adaptive cruise control and the 360 degree view camera. This one also has the optional $550 climate package, which includes the heated steering wheel and heated rear seats. This one also has the $800 Harman Kardon sound system. So you can see the Harman Kardon speaker surrounds, boom, right there. Um, and it sounds fantastic. Harman Kardon never lets you down. So if you guys want a good sound system, opt for the Harman Kardon sound system. And then this also has the $200 power lift gate. But a couple things I wanted to read off to you guys include some safety and security features. So bear with me here for a second while I pull that up. So some safety and security features include blind spot information system with steer assist and cross traffic alert with auto brake. You also get collision avoidance featuring low and high speed collision mitigation that detects vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and large animals. Driver alert control, run off road protection and run off road mitigation, lane departure warning and a lane keeping aid, oncoming mitigation by braking, front side and curtain airbags with driver side knee airbag. You get a whiplash protection system also known as whips in the front seats. You also get automatic unlocking after collision, road sign information, occupant sensor with seatbelt reminder, three point safety belts with outer pre tensioners, and park assist sensors in the rear and a park assist camera also in the rear. Thought I also should read off some luxury and convenience features that come with the plus laminated panoramic moonroof with power shade, leather or city block textile seating surfaces, heated front seats, auto dimming interior and exterior mirrors, retractable side view mirrors integrated roof rails, keyless entry with illuminated door handles. I showed you guys that on the exterior. You get a gloss black front grille, power front seats with driver's seat memory, as well as power lumbar support, interior high level illumination. Uh, you get that universal garage door opener. You get that spare tire. You get two zone automatic climate control with clean zone, as well as inductive smartphone charging, which I showed you guys is that wireless charging pad. And uh, while we have or while we're talking about this, I might as well put the rest of the window sticker on screen, which I'll do. And uh, let's talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP of this particular 2023 Volvo XC40 B5 all wheel drive plus with the dark theme is $49,365. And I said with the dark theme, the dark theme comes at no additional cost. So you can either get the bright theme, which includes chrome pieces, or you can get the dark theme, which includes those gloss black pieces. I guess one more thing I wanted to show you guys um, is that you do get a thigh support. So if you reach under your seat and you pull, um, you can um, pull out this thigh support. So you can see this piece came out. I can also push that in, pull that up, push that in however I want it to be. Um, I can adjust it for myself. But we've talked about what's going on here in these front seats, and I want to show you guys what's going on in those rear seats. So let's move into those seats. Make sure the door's unlocked, which it is, and let's see what's going on back here. So Basically, this door panel looks very similar to what you would find at the front. Same materials used. You get an aluminum door handle. You do not get one of those fancy Harman Kardon speaker surrounds, but you do get automatic up and down rear windows as well as a lock button. Um, and then some miscellaneous storage at the bottom of your door panel. Let's step into the interior. You can see seats look very similar to the fronts, uh, just a little bit less bolstering. But let's step in and uh, let's see how comfortable these seats are. So I gotta say, they actually are pretty comfortable. You also get a center fold down armrest right here with two cup holders. It's nicely padded, as you can see. And then you have a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat, a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. But just keep in mind that this is a mesh seat back pocket. So pens or something like that um, may not stay in there too well. Two HVAC vents and then down here, 
you got your heated outboard seats with three levels of adjustability and uh like i said these are heated outboard second row seats so this person's seat is heated and my seat is heated the middle seat is not heated but going back down to here you have another two usb c ports which you can find uh just to the left of your heated seat buttons but yeah one more thing i wanted to show you guys Get your dome light there, another dome light over there, and then you have a hook to hang your dry cleaning, another hook to hang your dry cleaning. Um, but you do not get O poop handles in the second row. But we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review, where now we always start the videos at this spot. We go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour, and we see how well they do on a scale of one to 10. Nothing will ever be a 10, and nine is pretty much dang near perfect. So we go five, and let's see what you'll do. Ooh, I gotta give this thing I'd give this thing a 7.9. Volvo suspensions as a whole, it doesn't matter if you get an XC40, an S90, an XC60, an XC whatever. It doesn't matter. Their suspensions are really, really good. And I'm not even like including the air ride suspension. Um, I'm just uh, talking about the just the standard suspension. It's so, so good. It soaks up bumps just so well, like way better than you would expect it to. And I say this pretty much in every video or uh, that I do with any Volvo product, is that the Volvo dealership, if you pull out and you take a right and you go about a half mile down the road, um, the road is just not paved very well. It's a, you know, it's a state road, but the bumps and stuff are just really treacherous. I mean, they, they really are, and it's funny because the Volvo dealership is right next to a Lamborghini McLaren dealership. And you would expect, you know, a Lamborghini McLaren dealership to have pretty good roads around it. And uh, it does not. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, anyway, this thing just soaks up those bumps just so well. And I'm like, I almost go over the bumps on purpose because it just soaks them up so well and way better than you would expect it to you'd expect this thing to probably not ride the greatest and stuff like that because it's a smaller vehicle i know that doesn't really have anything to do with anything but just taking a look at it you'd be like man that thing probably doesn't handle bumps all that well and it, you it, it really would surprise you how well uh this thing handle bumps and how just how well the suspension is set up because not only can it go around um turns and stuff like that but it'll also handle those bumps like i said so it's not like a floaty ride it actually very minimal body roll so that's really sweet but it's also nice how they figured it out to where they can have you know uh, a firm ish suspension going around turns and stuff like that but when you're going over the bumps like speed bumps or just bumps in the road uh, it just really soaks up those bumps very very nicely another thing is is the power in this xc40 b5 it really just accelerates very very well um, when you come up from a stop like you know a dead stop you uh, are honestly taken back by the power i mean it's not like it has like 700 horsepower and it hauls ass you know what i mean but it really for a daily driver it's got more than enough power and it might actually surprise you um, the low end power that this thing has and just the way that it puts the power down it puts it down smoothly it puts it down quickly and i'm not sure but i'm thinking that the starter generator system is kind of what propels it initially and then the gas powered motor really picks it up but the way that those things um, transition into or out of one another um, it's very very good and you can see right there see the battery turned blue and it was like doing the arrows that went up um, that was letting you know that it was recharging that starter generator system which is a 48 volt system but now we are at a stop the auto stop start is on but one thing i like about the volvos um, is that with your starter generator or with your vehicle being off like with the auto stop start with that starter generator system you're still able to turn the steering wheel even with the gas powered motor being stopped and that's something like in other vehicles 
that you find um, with the auto stop start being off, you cannot turn the steering wheel. So that kind of stinks. Whereas on this, you can still turn the steering wheel even with the auto stop start being off, which is a nice feature. And another thing I guess I should point out that I'm just really noticing right now is that I left the dealership with a 40 mile to empty range. And that has not gone down one bit since I left the dealership. And I've, I think I put, let's see how many miles I put on it. So I put about seven miles on it and that range has not dropped one bit. So if that's not a testament to the gas mileage, I don't know what is. Uh, I, I mean, obviously I haven't really done any hard uh, accelerations or anything like that, but we will be doing a zero to 60 test before we end out today's video. But Harman Kardon sound system sounds fantastic. The way that this thing drives, it's very, very nice. Yes, you probably don't have the greatest steering feel. Like, the, don't expect to get in one of these and to have the same steering feel as what you would find in like a McLaren 570 uh, because you're not going to get that. It's very numb and stuff like that. But if, this, if you're using this as a daily driver, that kind of stuff doesn't matter. What you really care about in a daily driver is fuel economy, how comfortable the seat is, which by the way, the seat is very comfortable, and also how comfortable the ride is. And I guess another thing that you uh, would want in a daily driver is just effortless power which you do get with the XC40 which I personally really uh, enjoy to have something that you know it's not crazy power but it's still fuel efficient but it gets you off the line and you really don't have to put your foot that far into the accelerator in order to get yourself up and going when I get into vehicles like that like my daily driver it's a 2007 Honda Ridgeline so definitely not the nicest thing in the world but to get that thing up and going, you really got to put your foot into the accelerator and it takes up a little bit of energy. I know you, you're going to be like, dude, what are you lazy as hell? But no, I mean, you really, when you drive a new vehicle versus driving something like that, um, the, these new vehicles like this one in particular is a lot more effortless to drive than something from like 2007 which is what I daily drive like look I really not put my foot into the accelerator and we're just accelerating to the speed limit no problem and even like the RPMs it's not straining the engine all that much we we're going to like 2500 RPM and you can see we accelerated to the speed limit very very quickly so that's very nice I love effortless power I love um, here I guess I wanted to show you guys that I guess the uh, fuel range did drop but when I hit the brake watch see the battery right there see how it's filling up that's like the regenerative braking for your uh, starter generator system I thought I would pick that up right now it's telling me I have a tw uh, 25 mile an hour speed limit that is not accurate we're going through a school zone yes but uh, it's not a 25 mile an hour speed limit until those lights are flashing which right now they are not coming up to the stop you can see the battery refilling and stuff like that but we'll do a little um, mild acceleration at this light nothing crazy but just a little something more than normal um, but like I said nothing crazy we'll do the craziness at the end with that 0 to 60 test but I want to show you guys the starter generator system you can see it just gets up and goes like literally instantly just goes it doesn't it doesn't take a second in order for it to you know get it to uh, where it needs to be like on some other auto stop start system some of those auto stop start systems really like cough you know what I mean like they don't just get up and go it kind of takes them a second and stuff um, whereas this system I can equate if you guys know anything about like Chrysler products or Ram products with their e-torque system this is similar to the Ram 1500 with its e-torque system where it kind of, it uses the battery to get it going and then the, or the gas powered motor will take over. But I want to skip to the zero to 60 test, but I just want to summarize the drive and the feel of the XC40. Very comfortable ride, very comfortable seating, very effortless power, uh, sound system sounds fantastic. And it's just a very nice car to drive around town because it's small, it's easy to zip in and out of traffic because you got the nice power, but it's also a smaller vehicle. But even with it being a smaller vehicle, you still have a good amount of legroom in the back. For me, I was adjusted behind myself, I'm five foot nine, and I still had a good amount of legroom, a good amount of knee room, and a good amount of headroom. So very comfortable vehicle. Don't think that this thing is too small just because it looks like a small vehicle. It's just a compact SUV, but it still has a good amount of storage space and a very good amount of uh, space for your passengers but we'll skip to that zero to 60 test right now all right guys like i said i will show you guys the manual mode so pull back on this so you can see the m pops up twist it or push it to the left downshift downshift into fourth downshift into third 
downshift into second. You can see it's downshifting, and then you can downshift it into first. But we're gonna throw her into drive and let it do its thing. Come up to a complete stop, and then we'll gun it in three, two, one, floored. Sixty. Pretty quick zero to 60 time, and it almost sounds like there's a little backfire um, in between each shift, which is kind of cool. Um, it goes like, uh, boom, uh, kind of like what you would find in like a Volkswagen Golf GTI. It's very similar sound-ish to uh, one of those with the DSG, which is the dual clutch, but very cool and quick acceleration. Let me know what you guys thought of that acceleration in the comment section down below. I already summarized the vehicle, but I'll do it one more time. Very comfortable, um, good amount of power, very efficient power. So very nice ride all around. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, I am gunning for 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. So if you guys would please help me get to my goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year i would greatly appreciate it but like i said that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next one peace